I could sure use a little help. You do these videos all the time, and it's kind of like your work, even though I'm not making any money off of it. It's, it's kind of your work. You film the videos, you edit the videos, you put the content out there, monitor the comments, and all that kind of stuff. Well, today, I kind of need YouTube to work for me. <laughs> I kind of need YouTube to help me, if at all possible. I need to mow my yard. I need to mow my yard. I always have this saying, it ain't nothing easy. Nothing easy. And it seems like when you're trying to take on responsibilities for yourself and you're trying to do things you're not really used to doing, it's never easy. It's like stuff that was working all of a sudden isn't working. And because you've never dealt with it before, you don't really know how to deal with it. And I don't want to overspend to just go take my lawnmowers to the shop to have something done that I could do myself. I realize that I can't probably get an exact answer on exactly how to fix something off of YouTube because it's it's hard. For, uh, people would need model numbers and all that kind of stuff and I don't want to go all into that. It's windy today, but I'm just going to try to explain what I can. I'm actually having trouble with my ride mower and with my push mower. <laughs> Either one would help me out today because we have a line of rain coming all day tomorrow. And I really wanted to get some mowing done ahead of all this rain. And that's what is put me out here and all. But um, what I noticed was when I mowed the last time, right before Easter, my left side of my mower, the blade didn't seem to be working great. We have um, a pretty wide deck. It's about a 60 inch deck. Uh, the blades are about 60 inches wide. It usually comes with like uh, they're in two pieces when I get the box. See, I've always picked up the part from the store, but I've never actually dealt with the blades. So that's what I'm not sure about. The right side cuts great. The left side is not cutting great. So what was happening was I was having to go over everything twice. I was having to always make sure I went by a pass and hit it with my right side. The left side just wasn't doing much good. It was kind of doing a little bit, but it was leaving lots and lots of stubble. I'd have to turn around, you know, and go back over it with my right side to make sure that I actually cut the grass last time. I got it cut. It looked great. I could get it cut today. It could look fine, but it would be like double mowing, double the work. And I really don't want to do that. So, um, I'm going to try to take a picture if I can get the deck to where I can even have it high enough to take a picture. But if somebody could help me with that, I'd appreciate it. Uh, just kind of letting me know, I guess in general, you don't have to be specific to my more, but just in general, letting me know what could be causing that problem. Um, see if there's anything you might see in a picture I post, uh, if I'm able to post one. And um, just kind of in general say, you need to order new blades or this needs to be taken to the shop or this part may need replacing. And at least I can kind of know what I'm talking about when I go in the part shop. <laughs> that would help me a lot. I think I may have solved my own problem. Under this blade, which I thought was broke or something, it appears that there's some rope, some type of rope hung up around the top of it. There's actually three blades under this mower. I didn't even realize that there's three blades. Two of them are clear at the top and this one on the exact side that's not mowing good has rope tied around the top. So I think it's interfering somehow. So before I panic or anything, I'm going to try to get a little exacto knife or some type of utility knife or something and try to cut that out. And then I'll test it and I'll see if um, it's cutting better. If it's cutting better. <laughs> Yay. I think I, I figured it out and fixed it. But it, ironically, while I was out here a while ago, I saw another little issue that I'm gonna have to deal with. Let me show you what that is. I realized that this long piece right here, there's one on both sides of the deck of the mower. It was just flopping loose. It was just bouncing around, not hooked to anything. It's supposed to go over the top of that piece right there. And those holes line up and a bolt go through there. And uh, obviously the bolt fell out and everything. So I don't know that this is affecting how my mower is cutting or working right now, but I know you don't want pieces like this that are supposed to be connected, not connected. So I'm going to figure that out real quick and try to get that tightened up and working right. On this side, I can see that it's got uh, a nice little bolt holding it together. 
and on the other side it's a it's a size bolt to where you do have a little hole and a cotter pin on the other side so I may have to go to the Napa store and get that well the other day I had to go to the Napa store and I got one of these little um, bolt things for my son he was dealing with a hitch issue on a trailer and it didn't work for what he needed uh, I don't know why it wasn't the right size or something but I think it's gonna work for what I need to do on this mower today except instead of sticking it this way and uh, you put a cotter pin down these holes right here and I have a whole <laughs> slew of those all sizes that I had bought a while back instead of uh, putting the cotter pin this way it's gonna be too long and it hits my uh, frame of the mower over here so what I'm gonna have to do is thread it through this way in the uh, bolt and put the cotter pin to the outside I don't see where that would matter so that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> whatever I got to do to not have to stop go to the store and uh, buy another little bolt like this it's just a tad bit shorter I'm gonna do so I'm gonna thread it through there put the cotter pin on this side and go with it and I think if I cut off that jute rope off that blade I think my ride more may be ready to go I hope need to gas it up get out there and make sure that it cuts good and I'll just let you know in just a second well I got it it took me a while it was a, a bunch of little pieces of this to pull out I got pieces everywhere see how it was just ensconced up in that little part where it, it, it tangled up at I mean it got it good <laughs> uh, but of course nothing's easy even though I cleared out the clog the blade itself is very wobbly and I think you know I obviously need to tighten that bolt there but I don't know if you can see that bolt is kind of melted it's melted I guess from the heat of that string being caught in it so I've got to figure out if I can even get a wrench on that bolt to put it back straight so that's my next task <laughs> ain't nothing easy that's a negatory ghost rider. I can't get it to hook on there and get any kind of leverage to turn it. I'm just going to take the mower out in the yard and engage it. And I'm going to see how it works without the bolt being tightened, but without the jute rope on there. This weekend when my son comes home, he might can help me tighten it. But the rain's coming tomorrow, so I need to get this figured out. Now this is my second issue. It's my little Craftsman, looks like M125 mower. I just bought it at the end of last year to really help me around the house to get the house ready for sale because um, I was just having a lot of issues with needing to clean up around my gardens and things like that. And um, as I said on a video the other day, we do have a weed eater, but it's very long and very heavy. And I just can't, first of all, pull it to start it. And second of all, if I did use it, I just, I don't know that I have the arm strength to just walk around a big piece of property weeding with that thing. So I bought me a push mower last year to help me out. And this is it. Um, it's one of the kinds though, that you just pull it and start it. There's no um, little, I call it a choke button, but I think it has another name, but the little button that you, a primer button, that's what I'm trying to think of, a primer button. It doesn't have a primer button for you to push. You just pull it and it starts within the first one or two starts. Well, I couldn't get it to start at all this year. I talked to a friend of mine and he said, go get me a little can of starter fluid. So I did. I got that the other day. And he told me what to do. Uh, I pulled the, I pulled the little air filter out of this and I kind of sprayed just a dap on the air filter. I replaced it and it cranked but then it dies. So he said if that happened to just spray a little bit, not, not douse it, but just spray a few little puffs into the carburetor area and try again. And I did, and it cranks, but then it dies. So I, I don't know, I don't think it's anything big. It's just that I don't know a lot about lawnmowers. <laughs> I think probably it's dust in the carburetor or something when I did buy this mower last year, it was like around June or July. It had gotten really, really hot and dry up at our place. And when I would be push mowing, there was dust everywhere. And I was, you know, doing a lot of heavy um, 
weeding with it. And so I know I used it a lot. I know it's probably filthy, but I don't exactly know what to do about it. I've checked the oil. The oil is good. And I just need to get this thing running because I have some stuff I need to trim around my sewer area and everything. Any ideas? Um, I looked on the internet and I found websites where it would say, you know, here's 10 or 15 things that could be wrong with your mower to check spark plugs to make sure that that thing is hooked right. I did check that. It's as tight as it can be. I don't think that's what it is. Um, if it comes to other things like taking wiring off and all, I just don't know if I want to do that. I might need to just take it in and have it serviced but if anybody knows of just a simple trick that might be what's wrong with this and might be keeping you know a pretty much brand new little more from starting i'd appreciate it i would appreciate it <laughs> i make youtube work for me this time and uh just see if i can get some advice on that i appreciate it so much just to follow up nope that didn't help i guess the main problem was not so much the rope being up there but it was the um, blade not being tightened. It's hard to see, but this actually was included in what I mowed just now. I, I came this way with more. I'm turned around now looking back at it, but coming this way, it would have been the left side of the mower that didn't cut. I'm turned back around now and it's on my right side. But you can see there's a lighter green little path there. Uh, I have a wide deck, so, you know, this may look good enough for some people, but you're, I'm losing a whole foot or more, foot and a half on that side, and it really adds up after a while. And actually, there's a little strip of grass down the middle going all the way down that's not getting cut either. So that's something to do with the other two blades. Um, I may just need brand new blades and I can go buy those, but what I'm worried about is not being able to get them put on because I'm not strong enough to do that bolt. And so, I'll probably have to wait for the weekend. I just may have to do the best I can and mow some ditches today, just so I can get my ditches mowed before the rain comes. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so it would be a while before I could mow my front ditch if I didn't go ahead and at least attempt it today. So, even if it's a shoddy job because of a, a little blades of grass that are sticking up even if it's a shoddy job I'd rather have it mowed somewhat on my ditches up there than to not get them mowed at all for another two weeks <laughs> so um, I guess I'm gonna try that today but any advice you may have about any of this I appreciate I guess ultimately my lesson is the left hand blade needs to be very much tightened and maybe all my blades just need to be replaced right now I just bought some last uh, mowing season <laughs> So I, I thought I, they would last longer than this, but maybe I need to replace them all. Mainly though, if I could get a little advice on that push mower, I'd appreciate it. This is Lainey from Hilltop Home Place. Thank y'all so much and you have a great day and I appreciate everything. Bye-bye.